When I was seven years old, my um, parents recognised that there was something different about me. So, for example, whenever there was loud music playing or um, there were certain distinct smells that come from the kitchen that I didn't like, I would react differently. So I was taken to be diagnosed and um, we later found out that I had Asperger's syndrome. In secondary school, I found it very difficult to interact with students, to engage in social conversations or listen to what they were talking about. I would zone out. I follow a very close routine. When my routine gets disrupted, it can cause me uh, severe anxiety. My parents have to pick me up from school at a specified time. If after a couple of minutes, my parents um, didn't arrive, my anxieties would become amplified. My head would begin to swell and expand like a balloon about to pop. I catastrophize uh, worst case scenarios that could have happened to them. Eventually, it's like my head will just switch off. As I got older, my OCD became more apparent. I would worry about loads of things. Um, I worry very much about ca catching pathogens, um, so I make sure to wash my hands um, once every hour. Um, I always have two showers every day. However, when um, COVID-19 happened, this worry of mine became amplified. Everyone now was having to do what I had always been doing. All of my irrational fears suddenly became real and rational. When my mum or dad came back from work, so I'd make sure they would shower more thoroughly than they had done before. And even then, I still didn't feel safe. I still felt inclined to self-isolate in my room. Part of my routine involved going to a local shop, but I worried very much about catching the virus. So it was a catch-22 situation where my routine was compromised. This led to numerous meltdowns. I did not feel safe going out. When will the lockdown come to an end? Well, the short answer is it really depends on when the politicians... The coronavirus is the biggest... I would basically stay in my room watching the news. I found it difficult to talk, difficult to process what I was feeling. In May, I think I stopped um, com communicating completely with anyone. I was feeling uh, hyper anxious and I wasn't able to process my own thoughts and concerns. Eventually, it got to a point where my mum booked an appointment with CAMS, especially as she could see I was not feeling um, happy or myself. So the CAMS person, Laura, came to our home instead and she was very polite and friendly. Laura spoke with us both and uh, she mentioned about how CAMS can help me. We were referred to CBT, Cognitive Behaviour Therapy Sessions, which can help um, to reduce my anxiety and find um, various coping methods. So afterwards, I felt quite comfortable um, with Laura and there was hope for me and my mum that we could hopefully uh, I've, I've overcome this. With my OCD, with negative irrational thoughts, I was always advised to write my thoughts down, um, whether they were positive or negative. I was also asked to write down a list of things that make me happy, that I'm very grateful for. So I'd write down uh, the zoo, or my nature books, um, all the animals that I enjoy observing and gradually it became significantly easier for me to cope with my anxieties and to be able to deal with them in a more rational way. Laura made me realise that staying in my room watching the news wasn't good for my well-being so she encouraged me to go out and exercise. We worked around um, my fears of COVID and how I could find exercises that would interest me and why I'd be able to see um, wildlife wherever I go. So I was encouraged to go to 
routes around the park where I get to see, um, see different birds and ducks. I think there are still genuine fears of catching COVID. However, through sessions with Laura, um, I came to understand that as long as I follow the government guidelines, I, I should be safe. I am now studying a course in animal care and I'm hoping to progress to a university course in wildlife and filmmaking and I hope to become the next uh, Chris Packham. I feel much better than I did before. I spend more time with my family and, and I feel less tense about Covid because I used to feel hollow and not myself. I still follow my routines, but now that I'm able to follow my routines safely, I've, I feel a lot more happier now and glad that I can do the things that I enjoy doing.